Hey guys, hello and welcome to new manipulation tutorial brought to you by Kratos. Today in this video tutorial we are just gonna be doing some photo manipulation and you could see its final result. It's like this. Uh, I okay. So let's get started up. Open the source file. I mentioned the file in the description below. Okay. Where is the source file? Yeah, I just got it. And now what we do is just unlock this layer I just don't need logs right click here and go to brightness and contrast and we increase the brightness level up to 8 and the contrast level to plus 32 selecting ok and what we do next is let's crop it out select this icon here start from here and just make a rectangle ok and hit enter okay so then no worries oh, minimize this first okay now what we do next is uh, make a new layer Bef uh, above this layer layer 0 select layer 0 and hit this icon to make a new layer or hit ctrl shift n or command shift n instead okay now what we do is just colorize this layer so as to just adjust the brightness so hit this color and go drag down it on the black side and select OK and get any brush and just start painting it out you might see and notice this paint is only looking so just make the opacity a bit lower so as we make it to windy let it be 18 selecting ok and let also do it at the top oh this looks nice mm, yeah and from here also just tuck on it bit and now we choose the white color and we just draw colorize it from here to here 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 mm. yeah okay and now what we do is create another new layer and again we must add some black here oh we are adding white and opacity 19 adding black and yes okay and now let's choose the purple color here you might note this 992 ca6 hit ok and just make purple color here just fill this up with purple color and uh, top left and where we must also hit purple color here and here also so what we do next is um, go to the curves layer select the layer 0 and right click here and go to color balance and now in this what we do is just adjust the C Y A N right to minus 12 and the green to plus 41 you can already see the effect is coming and this to minus 20 blue to minus 20 and we just go to highlight now clicking this icon and we set it to minus 6 too much too much ok 7 will also do and uh, this to 41 and the last one to be let it be 25 hitting ok now what we do is just drag this layer above this layer and also above this layer and above this layer 
so now what we do is again select this mask and just select the black color with the pen with the brush tool we just go on adding a bit marks over here just like this Mm, and oh maybe here just where we just made the purple color mm, I think so purple must opacity must be reduced of this so as to make it a more realistic kind of okay then next thing is what we do is another we hit this layer and another we create a color balance and this time we set the curves to 50 let it be 53 and uh, another time 50 let it be again 55 and uh, when Blue one must be okay. So yeah, we just got this effect. You might note this. I'm just doing blue to minus 29, red to plus 53, and green to plus 55. And we again go to highlight mode, zero zero zero, and let's make this. Let's sub minus this too much too much that's too much oh plus let it be minus 22 select ok and what we do is click again here and just make this selected and select the paint uh, select the brush and just paint this area here So you might see it's happening onto the mask. So it's correct. And again, let it also happen here. So select this layer also, and again we do the same thing. Mm, yeah. So from now we just select the eagle image. No, this was our final image. This was not. This is our Im image of the eagle. Now what we do is just click, double click here so as to unlock this. And now we just go to this tool here. Right click here and select the magnetic lasso tool. And let's make a magnetic lasso effect with this. Don't tell everybody that we are on Photoshop. Okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's okay, but oh, oh. Okay. So you might see that I was clicking and clicking. I just double click it. So I just go to history and go to again magnetic lasso tool. Now I right click here and I just go to layer via copy and hit this icon here of I so at that icon is disabled and uh, let's delete it out now you can even hit, hit right click and delete so what we do now again we right click here and we go to color balance and we set it to minus 25 uh, let it be yes 26 and plus 26 here also 25 and if the yellow is minus 24 and now we go to highlights and here we just make the red to be plus 35 the green to be plus 11 or 12 and this must be uh, minus 14 or something like that select OK now what we do uh, one thing I did not mention that was 
now we hit control E okay so as to merge this I just adjusted this image size so I just went to image and image size so there the dimensions are 1954 and height is 3000 so we just make the width to be 500 and you could uh, make sure to hit constraint proper proportions and resample image hit ok oh this is too small for our work but then also we will do it select this move selection tool click it here and just drag this owl here ok now we go to edit transform and flip horizontally and we go to edit free transform and just adjust our eagle size so yeah we are done with this tutorial hit anywhere apply I'm hoping you might people give your responses hit likes and show your comments and please subscribe to our channel and really thanks for watching